I'm just leaving Sonata Square, AKA just take all my money. Um, try to get the lighting right. It's so beautiful here. Um, it's a nice shopping area where it's westernized, but still on the outside it has this culture um, of Chinese culture. And I got a lot of goodies, a lot, a lot, a lot of goodies. So now I am going to try to get a taxi to find my way because I am hot. As I'm recording, I realized I have this on my shirt. What the freak is this? Was I sweating? Ooh, what is this? Is something leak in my bag? Whatever. I just want to show you some of the cute stuff that I got while I was in the square. I love cute sayings and quotes, so I got this shirt and it says everything you need will come will come to you at the perfect time. And if you look really close, it's all embroidered. Um, and this was $190 individually, but for two, I got it for $160, which was equivalent to less than $20 for two shirts. Um, so I got this one. And then I also got this one and it says tomorrow begins today. It also has that good embroidered detail. Let me see if I could. Can you see that? Really cute. So I got that in red. I really don't have a lot of red shirts. If I have any and if I do I don't wear them but I'm gonna wear them so if I have more of them I will wear them. Then I got this cool sweatshirt from it's B BSX Perfection Rebellion. Um, it's fake. It's fair and just, and it says fair and just. Never underestimate the power of girl. And it says I am who I am. That's me. So I got this sweatshirt. It's very comfy and soft. And this was two for one ninety nine. Um, so it's like close to $30 um because I got two this is the other one I got two and this has courage with the cute flowers on it but yeah I love them they're really soft um if I went to this place when I first got here I probably would go there like every single weekend to buy something I took out um a thousand MOPs you know, I wasn't thinking I was going to spend a lot of money because I was really going there to look around and also a souvenir shop. And I ended up buying stuff for me, so that took away some of my money. But I'm happy I got this and it's really soft and comfy. I forgot to record when I was eating my dinner. They forgot my mini burgers, which wasn't too bad when they gave me more food than I expected. They gave me a lot of fries, a lot of calamari, and it was happy hour, so it was buy one, get one on drinks. So if you check my Instagram, which if you're not following me, follow me right down below. You're missing out on some good pictures. Right now my legs feel like jello. I had a lychee drink, um, lychee rose, and some type of summer berry. It was fabulous, fabulous. <laughs> I'm not living there. <laughs> Why does someone have a mannequin in the window like this? I thought it was a person standing. I am so sleepy. Yeah, my eyelashes look pretty good. Yo, looks really good. Doesn't look much to you, but trust me for a girl who hardly have any lashes for you to, for you to be able to see this. It's awesome. So right now I'm at St. Paul's Ruins. It is beautiful and right now I'm going down into the shops. My sister said I need to try egg custard um, while I'm here. I think she said egg custard egg paste or egg pastry. I don't know. I'm 
Ne mai mai eu? Atenție, nu! Hai, mă, nu da! Sister said I need to try one of these egg custards, so I'm gonna give it a try. Mm, okay, kind of tastes like flan. It's good. So right now I'm on top of the museum on the top floor overlooking the city. Let me so you get a better view of it. I don't know what you call this area up here, but it has um, bifocals that you can zoom in closer into what's going on. Oh, this is amazing. I just left the museum and I'm on my way back. I'm really hot and I'm thirsty, but I don't feel like spending any more money. I just wanna save my money for the rest of the week so I don't have to take out any more money to go anywhere. I'm coming back on here because I just want to go more in detail of the little um, place that I saw, the cinema that is hosting um, black films. I said it wrong. I thought it was independent films that they were doing, but it's actually not. They're celebrating a lot of the popular films by um, black directors. So I just want to go through the book with you because it's pretty awesome to just randomly walk upon this in the middle of Macau. So on, on the cover has um, Spike Lee, and I thought it was two different books, but it was not. Um, so they just did back and forth. So it went on a little statement of saying, why black cinema? The idea is the program started with a pair 
of Moonlight and I Am Your Negro Screening. We did a couple years ago and we thought these films were outstanding. So why don't we get to see more films made by African American filmmakers? Although the recent success of Black Panther and other predominantly black films has diversified the public palette American cinema from cast to crew, stories to aesthetics is still overwhelmingly white. Lest we forget, black culture has always been and be at the upfront of popular culture, even birth to jazz, rock and roll, hip hop, etc. Yet African American cinema has been historically historically minimized. With this program, we represent an array of films that includes rediscovered masterpieces and a recent breakout hits as an introduction to the rich traditional of black films in the U.S. Black is Beautiful is the movement that started in the 1960s to promote pride and celebrations of black people physic physical attributes as well as their own culture heritage. Beauty should be defined by... Only by those with blue eyes and fair skin, these films offer irreplaceable perspectives on stories that can only be told by those who have walked in the same shoes. That should be an inspiration to everyone who seeks artistic expression outside the establishment. Oh, amazing. So, like, so they're going to do the movie. I'll show the movie Do the Right Thing, which if you have not seen it, what's wrong with you? Awesome. And they have a little synopsis of what the um, movie's about. Black, um, Black Klansman. Killer of the Sheep, which I have not seen this. Um, Daughters of the Dust. This came out in 1991. Oh, and the... I was gonna say the year was more. So the Kill of a Sheep came out in 1978. Never heard of that one. And they tell, uh, I think this is a little synopsis on the um, director. The oversimplification of her beauty. What? Okay. Sorry to bother you. Nineteen ninety, nineteen eighty two. Yes, yeah, I haven't heard of some of these films before. I'm gonna check out. I'm not gonna be here when they're showing it, but I'm gonna look it up on my own. A Bell Street could talk. I've been wanting to see that, and I haven't. Fruitful Station. What with Michael B. Jordan? Matt Forrest and Fulton Lukaki. Don't know. Oh, these are other films, not just. This isn't about. These other films, what's this about? Oh, so this is basically about appreciation of the culture. Why Black Art Matters. And there's speakers that are um, Asian talking about why it's important. Wow. This is awesome.